Welcome students, let's understand the importance of public services for community life. In a home, we live with our family. A life outside the home is our public life. Several services are required for public life to go on smoothly. Public facilities are those services which are available to all of us. We use several such services like transport, schools and hospitals. Public services are equally available to all and are meant for everybody. We must use them responsibly. Local Government and Local Services We live in cities or villages. The population of cities is large whereas in villages it is quite small. In cities, there are factories, markets and greater chances for employment. Cities have public services on a large scale. The administration of a place, be it a city or a village, is run by the government in that place. It is known as local government. A gram panchayat runs the administration of a village. A municipality runs the administration of a town and for big cities, there is a municipal corporation. Do you know, each village has a gram panchayat. Maharashtra state was formed on 1st May 1960. At that time, Maharashtra had 21,636 gram panchayats. That figure rose to 27,993 in 2010. To form a gram panchayat, the population of a village must be at least 500. If the population is less than that, Two or three such villages met together form a group gram panchayat. Public services are provided to us out of the money collected from us as taxes. We must use them carefully. Sometimes public services are overburdened, but we can solve this crisis by working together. The local government provides the services of water supply and public hygiene. But we need many more services. You must have seen a bank in your city or village. People put their money into a bank. The money is kept safe there. People can save this money. They can withdraw that money from the bank when they need it. Banks also offer loans to people in need. The postal service is useful for keeping in touch with our friends and relatives. Letters can be sent to any part of the world. The people in a locality sometimes come together and find out what the local needs are. Based on their findings, they decide to start an industry or service in cooperation with one another. They contribute some of their own money to start that industry or service. The profits are distributed among everyone. Institutions formed by people's cooperation are called cooperatives. Do you know, almost 400 years ago, a postal service was run in Golconda as follows. There were small huts at intervals of every two or three miles. In the first hut, there was a harkara. Harkara means a man who carried the post. The first harkara took the post back from the first hut and dropped it in the second hut. The second harkara stood ready to take the bag. He took the bag and ran to the third hut and dropped it in. This is how the post was carried to other places. This system was called the dark system. Always remember, public services are equally available to all and are meant for everybody. We must use them responsibly. Thank you and please like, share and subscribe.